All right, welcome back. It's Sullivan, and we're going to be talking about solving proportions today. Before we get to proportions, let's talk about a ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two things, all right? So, for example, when I was a kid, I watched this cartoon called The Smurfs. This is Smurfette. And the great thing about the Smurfs was that all, they always told me that one Smurf was three apples tall. Now, I, I don't know if this is accurate. Three apples seems pretty tall, but it's a comparison. So one Smurf is to three apples, right? So that's one way we could write that. We could also write it three to one. That's a comparison. Three apples to one Smurf. I could write it as everyone's favorite thing, a fraction. One Smurf is three apples. All right, whoops. <laughs> I could flip it. I could say three apples is the same as one Smurf. It's just comparing two separate things. All right. Now, here's the great thing about ratios. When we combine some ratios, when we have two ratios that are equal, that is a proportion. So, for example, I know that one Smurf is three apples. All right, and I'm going to set that equal to a new ratio. How many apples are three Smurfs? So I, three Smurfs. See, I'm putting these both on the top because they're comparing Smurfs to Smurfs. And on the bottom, I don't know how many apples. Okay, so now this is a proportion. One ratio compared to another ratio, set equal to each other, that is called a proportion. These are very important. How do we solve proportions? It's everybody's favorite thing. I'm gonna take the top, the numerator on one side, and I'm gonna multiply it by the denominator on the other side. So one times x is one x. Then I'm gonna take the denominator and multiply it by the numerator on the other side. Three times three is nine. So how many apples is three Smurfs? Three Smurfs are nine apples, all right? And what that's called, that's actually has a very name. That's called cross multiplying. Makes sense, I'm multiplying across. Let's do another one. <clears throat> <clears throat> so here we go. Let's cross multiply. So I'm going to multiply these here. 5 times 10 is 50. And then I'm going to multiply these. Top of one fraction times the denominator of the other. 8 times x is 8x. Now we have a one-step equation. The opposite of multiplying by 8 is dividing by 8. Might need a calculator for that one if you're not great with these numbers. 50 divided by 8 is 6.25. All right, that's cross multiplying. Now, proportions are cool. They're pretty fun, in my opinion. They, they're very useful. All right, here's how they are useful. Okay, here we go. So, example number two. Mr. Kelly is so good at basketball. He really is. He can make three... Make three out of eight shots. So is this a ratio or proportion? Is this comparing two things? Yes, is, is it? So it's definitely a ratio. Is it setting one ratio equal to another ratio? No, so it's just a ratio. We would write that as three makes out of eight shots. Now, I think it's very important to label these, especially when you set them up. And I'll talk about that right now. So how many shots does he make if he attempts 40 shots? So now we can make a proportion out of this. All right, so we know three makes for every eight shots. And this is where the labeling comes in really handy. See, I need a number of makes on the top, and I need a number of shots on the bottom. All right? And I'm just going to plug in things that I have. So this is 40 attempts, 40 shots. So that goes in the bottom, and I don't know how many he made. I do know that I have to cross multiply. 8 times x is 8x. 3 times 40 is 120. 
Then I divide both sides and I get x is 15. So he would have 15 makes. And again, you need to make sure you label your answer so we know which one we're talking about. 15 makes if he had 40 attempts, 40 shots. All right, let's try this one down here. How many attempts? So I don't know the number of shots. So I can do it again. Three makes for eight attempts or eight shots. So I have makes on top, shots on the bottom. Make 21. So makes goes right here on top. And I don't know the number of shots. Okay. I'm going to cross multiply again. Three times X is 3X. 8 times 21 is 168. Divide both sides here by 3. And I get X is 56 shots. So if I want Mr. Kelly to make 21 shots, that means he would have to shoot 56 shots. All right? You try this one. All right, so if we set this one up as a ratio, we have five Reese's Cups for every $2. Could you have set it up like this? $2 for five Reese's Cups? You certainly could, all right? And I'll show you down here that it doesn't really matter. You just need to make sure that the labels match when you set up your proportions. So let's do the first one with this. So five Reese's Cups over $2 is the same as how many Reese's cups for some dollars, right? We don't know, we know we have nine Reese's cups. So we're gonna cross multiply, five times one is five. Over here, oh, five X, excuse me. Over here, two times nine is 18. Then we're gonna divide both sides by five. And we're gonna find out that for nine Reese's Cups, it would cost us $3.60. Okay? Now let's use this one. $2 for nine Reese's Cups. I just want to show you that it doesn't matter which way you show it, uh, set it up. All right? So down here, how many Reese's Cups can Sully get for $3.20? So $3.20 goes here because, look... Units must match top and bottom. So I don't know how many Reese's Cups I have on the bottom. Now I'm going to cross multiply. So 9 times $3.20 is 16. And 2 times X is 2X. Divide both sides by 2. And we find that we have... eight Reese's Cups. So if we spend $3.20, we'd get eight Reese's Cups, okay? Remember, you need to set up your unit so that the same on top and the same on the bottom. All right, now I want you to pause the video and do these two completely on your own. Then I'll show you the answers and we'll talk, but I want you to try these on your own. It's the first try you could do to fail this all on your own or see if you're successful. Either way, you're going to learn from your, uh, your mistake or learn that you know how to do it. So go ahead, pause the video, and really try this on your own. All right, so if we look here, we're going to solve this proportion by cross-multiplying. 9 times 15 is 135. 2 times B is 2B. Divide both sides by 2, and you get 67.5. Over here, I have two things I'm comparing, seashells and minutes. So 5 seashells, SS. For every 12 minutes, how many seashells for 60 minutes? When I cross multiplied, I got 300 equal 12x. Divide both sides by 12, and I found that Mr. Bruss would be able to paint 25 seashells in 60 minutes. All right, I hope you learned a lot. If you didn't, please make sure you ask your teacher for help. That's the only way you can make sure for, sure, uh, for certain that you're on the right track and learning as much as possible. Don't waste time. Get that help you need. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Until then, enjoy everything. Enjoy the math and do your best. Bye.